For the latest in strategic affairs, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon for updates. बुद्ध का मार्ग भविष्य का मार्ग है सस्टेनेबिलिटी का मार्ग है First ever summit on Buddhism, hosted by India and New Delhi, saw keynote addresses by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and His Holiness the Dalai Lama. आधुनिक विश्व की ऐसी कोई समस्या नहीं है जिसका समाधान सैकड़ों वर्ष पहले बुद्ध के उपदेशों में हमें प्राप्त न हुआ बट दिस स्पोक सेपरेटली मोदी ऑन द इनॉग्रल डे एंड द टिबेटन स्पिरिचुअल लीडर स्पीकिंग ऑन द सेकंड डे दे डिड नॉट मीट In fact they've not met since Modi took office in 2014 although they have spoken But India sent some other signals too Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu was on stage with the Tibetan leader at the Buddhist summit to remind the chinese that arunachal is a part of india and the dalai lama's presence in india tells the world that china's occupation of tibet is illegal the buddhist summit was an opportunity to challenge china's narrative that buddhism is of chinese origin india is a land of uh, buddhism so i think we expect indian buddhism so to be revival and lead the world buddhism the summit attended by 300 delegates and scholars discussed climate change and the environment and not so subtle message to china that its activities in tibet have seriously damaged the environment and displaced the local population delegates also reflected on the ukraine war and its damaging consequences to the world or buddhist community of global response to this most dangerous challenge for today i think we should provide the possible hope of the wisdom to make this war to be dissolved and a new vision of global non-violent peace to be initiated Hopefully India will use the momentum generated by this summit to stake its claim to its Buddhist heritage. Such summits are also good for political messaging at a time when relationships with neighboring countries like China are fraught and uncertain. With Sanchit Prasdan this is Ramanandas and Gupta for Strat News Global.